Hey guys, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan, and we're taking a look here to Land Cruiser 80, which is one of the best Land Cruisers. This one with manual transmission and 122,000 kilometers with a turbocharged inline six cylinder 4.2 liter engine. That's the 1HD turbo engine. And so Land Cruiser 80 with the manual transmission, quite a rare vehicle indeed, even here in Japan. And so you always have to pay a premium for them because that's the one everybody wants. And everyone who has one doesn't want to sell it because it is so uncommon, so rare, so awesome. This one's in extraordinary condition too. And so the person who bought this is, is really in luck. This is one of the best 80 series that I've seen. This has had a full repaint in the original color and the paint looks glossy and nice and well done. Inside is good. Mileage at 122 is still fairly low for the engine. These engines are the last forever style and a decent amount of power to pull around the uh, pretty big body on these vehicles. What makes the Land Cruiser special is its dependability, made to last 25 years at least. Solid axles, front and rear, and then spring suspension. All around, these are excellent vehicles and uh, big time love them. We have a 70 series over there, which is my favorite of all of the Land Cruisers, but the 80 with a manual transmission is something certainly special. This one here has two batteries. It runs a 24 volt electrical system. The timing belt was changed in 2003 at 100,000 kilometers. Engine bay is really nice. It looks like this vehicle is most likely spent most of its time in uh, undercover parking. Oil is a bit low, but um, not problematically so, and it looks to be fairly, uh, fairly clean. I believe the vehicle hasn't driven very much in the last little while, by the looks of it, which is weird for a Land Cruiser because these are bought by people who want to drive high mileage most of the time, especially the diesel ones. You're not allowed to register these in Tokyo, and so uh, kind of weird to see them, other than you know me exporting them. Toyota Turbo. Very cool. Okay, so um, yeah, bought from auction for exports to the USA under the 25 year rule. And uh, here's the auction inspection sheet. I'm actually gonna go inside because the writing is a little bit faint on this one. And we will be checking the exterior and the interior. But first off, auction sheet, and I'm gonna translate this for you. It's a 1993 Land Cruiser VX Turbo. Uh, the VX is the turbocharged and the highest uh, level of trim. 4200 cc engine i don't know how much power it puts out but it's more than enough and especially with a manual transmission makes it uh, feel plenty powerful auction grade 3.5 interior c 122 480 kilometers that's original uh you can see here has not been changed or swapped five speed manual that's an original five speed as well sunroof all the vx have them Power steering, power windows, comes with AC, it's automatic climate control AC. This is a one owner vehicle, despite being now exactly 25 years old. 25 years old in six months. Uh, it's original green, but has been fully repainted. I think this says it's the cold weather package, but I can't make sure that that's correct. Um, if you're the owner, make sure that you check our translation from the Japanese staff. Dual battery and rear heater. And so different controls for the rear heater, uh, very cool and heated seats okay here's the report from the auction inspector it's a seat cigarette burn and i'll show you where that is steering wheel wear interior is dirty and scratched various scratches and dents underside surface rust and has been painted underside looks to be pretty good in my view uh, full repaint and so there's some paint wave on it core support is dented and winter tires on it then looking at the body here the body is very close to perfect except for on the back has an au2 and i'll show you that and both the side skirts have some little scrapes and here you can see, that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down here. I'm gonna do once around. I'll show you basically any of the damage that I see on the body. Uh, front cross member dented. It doesn't misalign anything. And when I looked at it, I couldn't even find anything that looked like it had been hit. And so I see no problem with that. Okay, so let's walk around it and see all the coolness of the Land Cruiser 80. This is stock suspension, stock wheel sizes. I think the 80 series looks good stock and lifted. You know, some cars I think look better lifted and some look better stock. This is very versatile. Uh, you can get them with uh, diff lockers. This one doesn't have the diff lockers. You could aftermarket upgrade it if you wanted. The diff locker, what it does is it makes sure that there is a, a no slip at the diff level. Uh, this one here has hub 
locks, which are manual locks on it, and then a button to put it into four-wheel drive, but is otherwise in two-wheel drive. And then that would be an open rear end, as with a lot of these 4x4s. The manual transmission is cool because I, I had a manual transmission Toyota pickup. It has a very unique feel, long throw shifter, uh, very, uh, very mechanical feeling, very sturdy feeling. And I've never really had a problem with any of the manual transmission versions of these. I think that they're built strong to last long. You know, they say a typical car company makes their car so that it will last for 10 years to 15 years. And the mission statement of the Land Cruiser is to last 25 years. And so it's made, these are made to last longer than your regular cars. Your regular car is typically last to be about 20 to 30 years old. Land Cruisers, you can get the last longer than that, as long as you can keep them from being rusty. And this one's already uh, doing pretty good with that. I'm gonna show you the uh, side panel so you can see some of the paint wave. So let me just zoom right in here. And go down. And then it's kind of hard to catch it in the video, but if you look in real life, it's a very, very bright metallic mica, and the green color is very vivid. It's a very dark green, but in the sun it brightens up. It looks really stunning, especially like this looks like what it would have looked like when it was a new car. And you really don't see Land Cruisers that look that good anymore. So the back section here is the AU2. You can see scratches there. Two here and then one with a dent up here. And that's basically as bad as the body gets. Everything else is stunning and excellent. Boy, does it ever look good in the sun. It is dirty, I'm sorry. It's going to be uh, cleaned um, when it goes off for export, but also look here, you can probably see some of that metallic look. Let's not get the lady and the camera. Okay, so the fog lights are integrated into the headlights with headlight washers. Regular bumper on this one. Nice big hood for that nice big inline six cylinder. A little bit of a scratch there on the chrome door mirror. Okay, so going inside. Door cards are excellent. Let's see if we can get no sun glare. Maybe not. That's about as good as we get. Okay, interior here, very Land Cruiser-like, very simple. All the things that you want, not the things that you don't want, in my opinion. So it's the seat here that has the cigarette burn, but the inside of the vehicle doesn't smell bad like cigarettes. It actually smells quite clean, and the whole interior is very clean. It kind of looks like this vehicle was on a dealer lot, uh, and they had already cleaned and detailed it. Here's the cigarette burn. You can see it's about a quarter of a fingernail size. And I haven't seen one with these seats before, so this is fun for me to look at. There's a bit of sag in there and in there, but nothing that's going to hurt it. The same thing goes for here, but no rips here. It's very common for this to get ripped, the piping, but it looks like the same good shape. Going in, retractable mirrors. Did not mean to do that with my middle finger. I'm sorry to viewers. I will do index this version. Headlight washers. Steering wheel's in good shape, it's been worn smooth, but I like these steering wheels that wear smooth because unlike a Nissan, they don't peel. I like that. 122, 510 kilometers at the time of shooting this. I see the needles jumping a little bit there. Didn't notice that before. It's got a turbo light, so when the boost comes on, you get a light up there, kind of cool. Come on, dusty lens. Don't do this to me. The sun's shining right on it. Okay, so there's your four-wheel drive button. And there's your high gear range and low gear range. This is the reason why you pay the extra money for these ones. Manual transmission in a vehicle this big and this capable is very cool. Very cool indeed. Almost all of them are autos. And I know I keep saying that, but it's it's just cool. People who, who, who come looking for the manual transmission, um, it can be a little difficult to find one. And so especially one that's in good condition. Original tape deck there, no cracks in the dashboard. Everything looks good there. Still has the original plastic there after 25 years. Not on this one, but on this one. 
and then compass so you don't get lost but probably nobody knows how to use a compass anymore and then altimeter this one here tilt and sliding sunroof and it works has been tested good condition seat over here and it comes with ooh cigarette lighter I was worried about that double box okay into the rear seat okay and okay and these seats can go a little bit further back like tilt back a little bit more they're very upright at the moment but I think they there are different levels of adjustment there really nice clean carpet and headliner is a bit dirty but uh, uh, in general, it's pretty good, I would say. You only get the five seats in the VX diesels. They are eight-seater versions of the 80 series. They come with barnyard doors in the back. This one is the double tailgate. Kind of a cool style. And it opens up like that, giving you a little loading tray to make it easier to put things into. And what's fun about this is, and the, and the 60 series as well, is they have full carpet on the tailgate there and in the back with tons and tons of space in there. We've got speakers. These bars protect the windows when you're loading stuff up a lot. Okay, carpet's in good shape there. The, uh, this back one here has three cigarette burns in it. And so sit on the tailgate and smoke your cigarettes. And then we got some uh, paint damage here, probably from having something uh, like closing it while there was something in the way. Uh, and no rust along here. This is kind of a big deal because that's a, a common rust spot for these. Tailgate up, lift gate down. Very cool. And the ones that have the barnyard doors have a split window here because they open sideways. 70 series style, actually. You'll see the same thing on that one over there. Come on. Yeah. But I think that that might be only on the gasoline models that you could get that, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be different markets had different availabilities. Okay. Cool Land Cruiser. Ooh, look at that green. Look at that. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed the video. That is everything. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. So thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.